Okay, so you're not actually checking out tracks then? Well, I, I've, I've got the direction and, and memorized the tracks, right? But I don't want... Well, the, the poor fella that's been coshed on the head needs a healer, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm telling everybody to stay back, give these fellows room. Anybody a healer? I mean, I'm not a healer. So they don't all healer. boil into the room at once. Well, and healer, ruin any yeah. evidence. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good at all. Uh, yeah, no. I'm not a healer, but I can see what I can do. Who are our healers? Uh, I have two, and it's a favorite for me. I think you're probably it, then. It's probably the uh, I also have two. <laughs> all right, yeah, I, can, I can roll real quick. Okay, why is this run so slow? But surely there's a a, vil a village healer that that's not my friends and compatriots here. Does he have a relative? Um, a mother? A actually, family? Actually, yeah, there there is a healer in the village that is basically on the same level as uh uh as Eold. Um so you and and they go into the tent together while Radigand is trying to keep, you know, the crowd back. Um so Luthwin and Norin if you're back, uh w do you want to look into the tracks and are you trying to keep people from the village back so they don't muck anything up? Uh talking to me? Yes, you and and Ross, if he's back yet. Uh, well, I would try to use the speakers right now to ask uh, the you know, area, like what happened. Like, okay, a detailed picture. Huh. Okay, that's okay. Um. I'm going to take you into a different channel. Hang on. While we're still waiting for, <laughs> for Ross. Go on down to the sidebar, if you would, please. Okay. Again. Okay. So, through the speakers, you're able to kind of get an idea. You get an impression that um, two sets of tracks were made to the uh toward the northeast they start off northwest and then kind of turn northeast um uh for a moment um but the 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 tall grasses and the uh the wind that comes through are not really able to inform you of much okay um do you have any other questions or anything like that that you might be able to ask uh what do you mean by two sets of tracks? Um, two sets of tracks, somewhat close together, uh, at the same time. So, are they two people, or did a, a per one person double back on their tracks? They can tell you one was an orc. So there was two people. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Anything else you want to try and get? Uh, hmm. So, I know the direction, uh, and, uh, I know it was two people. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all oh. I kind of wanted. Okay, let's head back up then. All right. So, I, I will leave it to... You and Ginger, since you've had your little private times, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, huh? Ross, what's going on? Are you there, sir? Yeah, I'm. I'm here. Well, I meant Miss. I meant Ross. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Well, yeah, I've been having just issues all day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ross. And I'm just like, 
Uh, and then and then that pen came earlier and didn't help them. But <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you in a moment um, what it is uh, you would like to do. I was just asking Luthwin about it, who is sticking beside you. But uh, you two might talk it out also. Uh, Luthwin, you used the speakers uh, to uh, figure some things out. Uh, and then, Ginger, I had you, uh, while Radigand was searching the tent uh, down in that uh, sidebar channel, uh, it's up to you what you share with your friends. But you guys go ahead and discuss amongst yourselves what well, else you would like to do. Well, I, I wanted to scan for tracks and see what kind of orc or goblin or whatever, because I should be able to identify... Mm -hmm. Like tracks or signs, even smells probably. Okay. And, uh, and look for any anything that might get left behind by accident, like a piece of clothing or a marking or a heraldry or clan symbol or you know anything like a tribe symbol because once you know orcs and goblins have their own standards and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know. I know the orcs of uh, the Misty Mountains and the Grey Mountains are all, they're all related, theoretically, but they're all not necessarily allies. I kind of stuff. And orcs and Merkwind would not, you know, they might, yeah, so. Okay. I mean, for having lore and stuff, I want to okay, so. figure out what, who took it and where they went, basically. <laughs> Well, it just so happens that my character knows Ewald and Duoda from, and that's our, I've, I've encountered them before and they know me somewhat. I know that they're both hunters. Rock and roll. <laughs> so I am searching for, while I'm trying to keep people out of the tent so that the tracks aren't disturbed, um, calling for a healer, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. I'm looking for Ewald, and I'm looking for Duoda. Okay, let me kind of handle this all together. So, oh, ooh, Andrew's online. Huh. It would be cool if he could get in here. Okay, um, so Radigand, you are able to kind of successfully stop people from, from coming and running over the Thane's tent. The Thane himself is kind of pissed off. He's like, what have you been doing in my tent? Um, but he's overruled by the murmuring from the crowd. You look for Duoda and Yuld. Uh, Yuld was there to kind of help you uh, because he's got healing skill. And about, the, uh, about a second after he shows up to your side to go help um, the, the village doctor also shows up uh, there, and uh, I suppose, uh, Yuld, do you go in with that other um, healer? Yeah, I helped him to stabilize the guy first before uh, trying to help uh, Radigan. Okay, let me get back to that in just a minute. Um, Take your time. So, uh, uh, Radigan, you also know Duota, so um, what is it you're trying to interact with her about? Well, I point out the tracks to her. I said that's either a very small goblin, uh, a very small orc, or a goblin. And look, there's there's someone else who also has been through here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Norin, please give me a scan roll. Uh, are we using fellowship yet? Uh, yeah, um, I have not established a fellowship pool. Hang on just a moment. Uh, drawing tools. Uh, let me go ahead and... Okay, all right, fine. Have I, have I regained any hope? Um, you should have regained all of your hope at the end of last game. Okay. So, so okay. yeah. Fill, so, text. Yeah, so let me know about the fellowship and then... I'll probably spend a point of hope too to help boost my. my okay, hope. if Andrew comes on to play in the next little bit, um, we will increase the fellowship pool. 
but uh, it is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got a fellowship pool of five. Since we don't have our hobbit, and I, I can't remember if our hobbit uh, uh, does anything with fellowship or not. Uh, update drawing. Okay, so you guys see that? See what? Do you on the map? Do you see fellowship pool? Yep. Okay. Yep. What I'll do is uh, when... I don't. Okay, hang on just a second. All right. Do you see it now? Yeah. Ah. Yes. Okay. I just had to center it. Um. Ah. You... Okay. So Norin, uh, mm -hmm. did you want to use a point of hope? Or ask to use a point from the fellowship pool? I, I want to ask to use a point from the fellowship pool. And I also want to use a point of hope. I want to... Well, now, match up. it doesn't work like that. You use one or the yeah, other. Yes, point to the game. Where? The four sessions I watched on YouTube. And uh, no, because fellowship use... pool are hope points. And those are used to uh, mm -hmm. used as hope. Hang on, hang on a minute. I've not ever read that in first or second edition. So, okay, let's see. Hope, 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 hope. Uh, um, seventy-one. Well, I already posted the hope in in the chat. So. Okay. Well, l let's make sure that we get this right. Hope. Hope is a hero's reserve of spiritual fortitude and positivity. A hopeful character can keep going when physically stronger heroes have already succumbed to despair. During play, players can spend hope to gain a, a hope bonus on any die roll or to trigger the effects of certain cultural virtues. Player heroes whose hope score is reduced to zero are spiritually drained. It is impossible for them to find the energy required to push themselves beyond their limits. That's when they become miserable. Um... If somebody in in the uh, in the games online uh, on on face on uh, YouTube, yeah, they're, they're using they're using this foundry module and they're playing second edition. Oh, bonus twenty! But that's not the way it works. Um, um, um... Let's see. Hope bonus. A character's hope score is a pool of points representing the reserve of spiritual vigor that heroes draw from when confronted by difficult odds or when a particularly good result is required by the circumstances. A player hero oh. about to make a die roll can spend one hope point to gain one dice. Hope can be spent to gain dice on any roll made by a player hero. It is not possible to spend multiple hope points to gain multiple bonus success dice. Now, yeah. let me look yeah. at Fellowship Pool. Yeah. Uh, fellowship focus, fellowship phase, fellowship phase, fellowship rating. Page fifty-four. They changed yeah, it I from mean, pool to rating. Yeah. Okay. Fellowship rating. The group of player heroes is more than a band of roving mercenaries brought together by mere necessity. At its foundation are communal goals and a mutual respect. This feeling of trust is recreated in the game by the company's fellowship score. Expressed by a numerical value, fellowship is a pool of points shared among all player heroes that is mainly spent to recover lost confidence. Uh, or used hope basically during the adventuring phase player heroes can spend points of fellowship to recover points of hope when resting additionally fellowship can be spent to trigger special effects tied to the company's patron the starting fellowship score of the company is equal to the number of player heroes in the group this value can be augmented by a number of virtues or cultural blessings and by a bonus associated uh, with the company's patron once calculated the company's fellowship score is recorded by all players on their character mm -hmm. sheets so your fellowship pool should be on your yeah. character sheets yeah i have it okay uh, well, where would it be well let me how come it's, it's, how come it's only left. Left. It's at the bottom left it's down. It's down past the joints. Okay. Uh, mine is at zero. Uh, it should be yeah, five. You gotta, you gotta fill it in. Why is it only five? Um, because there's only one point per member of the company, unless there yeah. are special uh, uh traits or um virtues or rewards. I, I think it's only virtues. 
uh, that add uh, fellowship points. Uh, but there's seven of us. But there's not. There's only five tonight. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's the number that are at the table, not the number that are available. Because I made eight characters, uh, uh -huh. eight pregens. But Eagle is mm -hmm. not here. Bjarner was never taken. Uh, and Walford is not here tonight. So, <clears throat> so that's five points. Uh, let's see. Company's fellowship rating represents the loyalty that adventurers feel towards each other, but some of them might share an additional level of companionship with a number member of the company, and that's about fellowship focus. If you uh, yep. player heroes providing support to their fellowship focus, make them gain two dice instead of one. Yeah, I know that. But the benefits of caring for someone comes at a price. Player heroes gain one shadow point whenever their fellowship focus is wounded, suffers a bout of madness, or is otherwise seriously harmed. Okay, so from my reading, you can only ever spend one hope point on a single die roll. You cannot yes. spend from the fellowship pool and the die roll. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that's how you want to roll. Yeah, I, I, I mean, first edition, I, I read over that many, many times. Okay, so you've already reduced your sheet by one hope point? Uh, yeah, I will. Okay, so when you roll, don't forget to add the, well, the extra dice. It, it, will, it will do it on its own because the pop-up box allows you to... Click on hope? Yeah. Okay. It has an option. Because you did that last time, it reduced it. Okay. So, Sounds great. So, so it's favor. I mean, mm -hmm. and a bonus hope die. I've forgotten what I was going to have you roll for. Oh, no. I know it. I know it. That's a lot of dice. Okay. Uh, so, so that's a success. It's not an automatic success, but it's a success. You're able to find the tracks. Okay. So. With uh, with Radigand pointing out to Duota where the tracks are, with Luthwin using the speakers uh, to help determine the tracks, and with Norin finding the tracks at all four at about the same time, basically, discuss amongst yourselves. You know, do you inform one another of your findings? Well, yeah, I would talk to Luthwin and. Uh... Tell her that we should gather the yes. others. Or, or is everybody here already? Everybody's here already. Then. Uh, yeah, well, this one saw the guards the other day. So, yeah, I would share with her. Okay, so Radigand yeah. was here first. Um, mm -hmm. She managed to um, to block everybody out of the tent and shared with Duota where the tracks were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Luthwin. Okay. Luthwin. Uh you finish using the speakers at about the same time Norin finds uh his own set of tracks, which are the same tracks as everybody else is after. Do you mm -hmm. want to share what you found? Do I oh yes, yes. Okay. Do, do I recognize what kind of tracks they are? Um Let's see, do you have, uh, let's see, you've got enemy lore, don't you? Uh, I don't know if I, well, I have rhymes and lore. Oh, uh, okay. I have, I have, I mean, I have some lore, I have a break in it. Okay, let me, let me pop open why, your sheet. I don't know why I don't have more lore than being a scholar. <laughs> well, <laughs> but you typically only get, you know... Uh, in in first edition, you got uh, uh, up to three distinctive features and two specialties. That was it. Mm -hmm. And I let yeah. those hang around here. But in first edition, you literally only get two distinctive features. So, which is kind of yeah. well, cheap. No, I'm, I'm no, I'm talking about how the points were were, were done for this pregen. Oh, if, okay. If he's a scholar. If he's a scholar. He should have had. At least two ranks of lore, not just one. You would think so, uh, but I and, I brought these characters I'm, in. Uh, hmm? well, uh, I'm just saying that's how I would have built it. Right, right. No doubt. Because that would make more sense. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have 
Battle would probably be one, and Lore would be two or something. Well, keep in mind, just, keep in mind yeah. that there are a lot of things that go um, specifically for character development in Second Edition, and Battle yeah, is yeah. two for dwarves. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah and was, Craft is three, and all that. But man, you, hit, you hit some free points and spend two. So. Well, yeah, you get ten, and and I had to use all of those to make the characters in accordance with their first edition counterparts, so that they equaled that. But yeah, I looked at that lore and I was like, this guy's a scholar, and he's only got lore of one, even though it's favored. Mm -hmm. So that that just didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. That's why I like I prefer first edition generation. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. but keep in mind that's also why lore is favored is because you're a scholar so well, yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so um luthwin you uh, did you said that you were going to share what you learned yes okay go ahead because remember you yes. and i went into a separate channel oh right uh they are there's two sets of tracks one was definitely an orc uh, and oh, I can't remember what direction was it again, Paul. Um, it, it it they kind of go, um. Okay, I'm going to share this as if I'm speaking through Luthwin. The tracks angle right. off towards the northwest, but then they switch back a little while uh, uh, down the way to the northeast. But then uh, the the speakers only you only get so much information from it. So Radigand was able to find tracks going off towards the northwest, away from Stonyford, uh, and towards the Anduin River. Uh, but Luthwin was able to find out that they kind of went off to the northeast. They rounded off to the northeast after that. But he hasn't seen those tracks going all the way, all that, all that direction. He just knows where to look. And yes, um, the Radigant, do you share basically what you found? You're Me? muted. Yes, you. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I'm telling Duota and uh, Ewald because those two are no are are known to me. Well, and it, so I'm pointing out I mean, the tracks and telling them to to hunt if they have this. I know they have the skill. Well, right, so I, I, I hear you. We've all been interacting in this town for over two days now. Mm -hmm. We're aware of each other. Yeah. Uh, I, I would hope. You, you may have a little bit closer tie. Yeah, you, you might have a little bit closer tie to Duota and Ewald, but you have been able to interact with these other adventurers that have come in, into town. Um, all of you have a very similar mentality. So I think what Ross is trying to say is don't necessarily limit yourself to a couple of characters that you know in particular uh, if you know that there are other adventurers here. Now, if if Radigan... Those two... Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be subtle or quiet about it. Mm -hmm. I just know those two, and and I'm I'm encouraging those uh, who might have the the tracking skill. Uh, it, they're certainly welcome to listen in. I'm not I'm not being exclusive. Okay. Like uh, I'm not whispering them to them quietly. Okay. Well, then I definitely know Luthwin overhears you uh, because of his quick of hearing. Um, and more than likely, since you're all pretty much in close proximity, uh, everybody is able to hear what you're saying, even though Yuld is kind of busy right now. What is he doing? He is... Uh, go ahead. I'm working to help stabilize the, the guard that's wounded. Oh, yes, yes. I did ask for a healer, so... Yes. Okay, so I'm going to stop everybody for just a second. Uh, Yuld, go ahead and give me a healing roll, please. All right. And if you would like Ooh. to spend a hope point on it, you can do that too. I don't think I'll need wow. to. Wow. Holy moly. I got two more runes. 
Okay, um, yeah, that's an extraordinary success. Go ahead and add a skill point on your character sheet in the big box. Actually, uh, I think you can add it in... in... The... Hmm? Could the guard perhaps wake up from such extraordinary healing? Um, no, but you do recover... You're, you're able to figure out what's going on with his head, and the, um, the other doctor from in town who is very familiar with this uh, individual is able to take kind of a mud poultice and put it over the injury on his head, okay? Um, even if he did wake up, he would be kind of out of sorts because he took a pretty hard knock uh, to make him bleed like that. But uh, the the other uh, doctor says, or, or the other healer says, looks up at you, Yuld, and says, "Thank you so much for for your aid. Um, if you must go take care of other things, I can take care of him now." I reply, "Of course, thank you." And I go back to the group to get caught up on everything. Okay, well, I mean, you can kind of hear that everybody's there. The the murmuring yeah. is a the murmuring is just that it's murmuring it's kind of low, um, uh, but it's enough to make a light cacophony in the area. Uh, so it's kind of difficult to hear what's going on beyond Radigand, but you still hear it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'd still be able to go over there. And we can, can like talk about like you know like what needs to be done that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Did you add that skill point to your sheet? Yes, I did. Sorry. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, and that that's actually, I guess that needs to be in both. Uh, the little one and the, the little diamond and the large diamond. So. All right. I'll okay. get that. I'll get that set up. Okay, great. Um, okay. So we've shared all kinds of information and stuff now. What is it? Um, do you guys want to try and discuss what's going on or do you just want to get on the road? I would be in the mood to get on the road. I am a bit impulsive in that regard. You are. I. Uh, same. <laughs> uh, Luthwin is not quite as impulsive as Duota, but, you know, there is that. Being a young lad, he, he is definitely impulsive. Mm -hmm. Well, Luthwin is a, a young lady. <laughs> so, Noreen, what was that you said a moment ago? I would like to, so, we, we shared that we know know about the tracks, uh -huh. and that they went northeast, or northwest, and then turned back northeast. So, are we assuming they maybe, maybe went into Murfwood? Uh, you could make that assumption, and it would not necessarily be wrong. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What do I know about any orcs in Merkwood? Anything? What do you know about what? I'm sorry? Do I know about any orc tribes in Merkwood? Um... I'm going to say... Let's see. I'm going to say that you probably have an idea that they're there but haven't really identified them. Uh, you know that there are orc tribes more to the south mm -hmm. uh, than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, but as for what orc tribes they are, um, I'm not sure you would actually know that. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you want well, to know, try and make a lore test to find yeah, out? I know, I know the Peorians... Uh, you know, in this area, of course. And there's woodmen here, too, right? Mm -hmm. There are so, uh, woodmen in Stony Ford, and Woodland Hall is only about two and a half days' journey. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Yeah, I would like to make a little check to see if I can recognize if the tracks are like a, like a heavily armored individual or... A lightly armored? Are they large like a uric? A uric okay. A uric or a uh, goblin? More like a goblin from are you, like the mountains? Are you just trying to I to determine this for yourself, or are you trying to ask for help with it? 
Um, I'm I'm willing to ask for help from the elf, my elf friend, or or anyone that has knowledge of orcs or hunting orcs. Well, I I was gonna say just remember, uh, just remember, uh, Radigan uh, would have knowledge. Uh, she's also from the the Woodman tribes uh, down okay. in um, okay. yeah down in in what's it's uh, uh, Yuld is from Mountain Hall if I recall correctly, um, mm -hmm. which is of course like four or five days to the west of Stony Fort almost directly. Um, let's see, uh, Duota. Uh, that the Battle of Five Armies. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So okay. So who is willing to help Norin, uh, kind of of search and and make this discovery whether these tracks were heavily armored, if if the individual was real heavy, or Luthwin, do you just want to speak up? I'll speak up. Okay. Good. Do you remember what I told you? Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm now blanking. both Duota and Luthwin would understand that the tracks were most likely from a smaller, uh, a smaller orc, uh, or a or a goblin. Yeah. Usually smaller orcs are called goblins. Well, yeah, I I understand and that. It's not, and it's not necessarily true on all orcs, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got you there. Um, but, uh, okay, you, using the knowledge that has already been shared, okay. let's see, I'm going to give you one dice. Well, goblins can't come out in daylight normally, because they're not a greener orc. It's, so. it's almost dark. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give you one dice to add. Okay. Uh, where would I do that? At the bottom? Okay, when you open your sheet, uh, oh, hang on. I see. Bonus and penalty dice. Yes. So just click on one bonus dice. Uh, I think that's right. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to try and throw a point of hope at that, or is it that important? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's important because I want to know how many there are. And so. Okay, so. so I guess you have to manually reduce your hope and then roll 1d6. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, roll... My D die is stuck. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so yeah, that adds a two, so that makes it a thirteen, which uh yeah, that's right, which is my lore. Okay. Okay. So um from from the lore you are not really you you can't tell because there are huh your audio is terrible it sounds like a robot oh um hold on it should catch okay. up that's better, better now okay yeah sometimes the system will slow down really badly and i don't know why mm -hmm. um okay so okay. you know that you know enough to understand there are two or three tribes that have feet uh claws basically in this array it, it's probably genetic how bad their feet are um so uh this tribe actually would come from the misty mountains more than likely so from galvin too or in that area um but the other set of tracks that is beside it you can't mm -hmm. really tell where the footwear would would originate from okay okay do you share that yeah 
I share that. I want to fall in the trash now. Okay. Uh, how many? Okay. We are. Because we don't carry. Uh. Mm -hmm. Would would it be kind of too much for me to assume that I'd be kind of leading the charge on trying to track them down because I was the one that was like really offended that it was stolen more than anything. Well, here's the next part. Um, I, I've got to get set up for this a little bit. Um, let's see. Page 108. I want to make sure I get this. So, 71, 93. Leading the charge is not necessarily a thing in, in this game. Okay? So, what I need to do is... Um, will this allow me to do multiple lines? Come on. Click on it. There we go. See if I can get that. Oh, no, I can't. That's right. It won't allow me to. <sighs> Let's see. So, on your character sheets, let me make sure of where this is. Let me open Bjarner here. I've been using him as my proxy for finding stuff on the character sheet. Boy, this is slow. All right. If you will scroll down uh, to the bottom, and then you'll see the word company with an up arrow. Um, go ahead, and I need you to edit. You'll see the little edit thing on on the right-hand side mm -hmm. of the company. Go ahead and click on that. And this is for everybody who wants to put this down. Okay, and I'm going to put it down myself. Um, all right, the first line is guide. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing where where you can put that in otherwise. So the first line is going to be guide. You can do that in all caps if you want to. You can just uh, uh, put it as bold or whatever. Uh, and then hold your shift key and hit return. The next line is hunter. Does any, anybody is is anybody waiting on me? <laughs> okay, the third line is lookout. And the fourth line is scout. Okay. I just need to make mm -hmm. sure that I'm putting in the right information same, same. here. Same stuff they used before. Yep. Yep, that's true. Okay. So, uh, go back up to the line marked guide and in parentheses uh, and probably lowercase you can put travel mm -hmm. okay hunter is obviously going to be hunting uh, let's see lookout I think is awareness I, I'm doing this from memory so forgive me if I get this wrong um and then Scout is Explore. Now, here's what we need to do. Among the five of you, try to determine who would be the best guide. There can only be one. Who would be a hunter, a lookout, and a scout. Okay, there can only be one guide, but there can be multiple hunters, lookouts, and scouts. I have three in travel. You have three in travel? Okay, is it favored? Uh, no. Okay, does anybody else have a better travel? No. I only have two, but it's favored. Hmm. Okay, so I then... I have three myself. Better, you have better odds because you don't get... Because it's favored? Because you have a higher feet die. So do you want Duota to go ahead and take uh, guide? Sure. Okay. I think we best. So I we'll... have it. Lore. Does that work? Um, lore will help in a minute. What? I mean, explore. Uh, you have explore. Uh, what? Well, let, let's go. Let's kind of go down the list. Uh, yeah. who has a good hunting? I do. I have three for hunting, and it's also favored. Yeah, okay. I, I have none, so that's not for me. 
Okay, does anybody else have uh, uh, hu uh, hunting or hunt? Woda, you have hunting and it's favored. Three in favored. Ooh. I do, but I'm already the guide. Well, I... you, you don't necessarily have to be a guide. This is where we're kind of running through and finding who would be best at various things. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of an out-of-game thing. You would, um, once we've got the roles established, those are the roles that you kind of fall into. Ah. So... The, the journey rolls help you guys kind of get through, uh, well, the journey, frankly. Um, I, I explore three, and it's favored, and that's, okay. and, and that would be good as a guide, I would think, more than, a, or a scout. A scout. So, Radigan, do you, does anybody uh, have any, any objection to Radigan being the scout? Nope. No, right here. Okay. That's the best. Now, Duota, do you do you want to do the guide or would you like to do uh, uh what was it you have? Hunting? Yeah. I think I may fare better as a hunter. Okay. Well, Yule's pretty good at that, so it's between the two of you. You've got three favored for hunting? Or yeah, for hunting? Yes. Okay, and then Yule? I have three favorite for hunting. Ooh, so that's both of you. Um, well, do, do, do either of you have awareness? Favored. I'm sorry, I couldn't quite hear that. Do either of awareness you have favored. awareness favored? Because none, I, not, I, none of these four skills are favored for me. I so. only have, I only have two for awareness. It's not favored for me. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Um. Well, Norin, what do you have for those four skills that might help out the best? My 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 best is travel at three. At three, okay, yeah. but it's not favored, not right? Favored. Not in favor, yeah. Well, um, okay, um, Duota, what do you think? Should uh, Norin take guide, and then uh, it's between you and uh, Yuld, who would be the best hunter? Or do you want to stay as the guy? One hunter. Oh yeah, you can have more than one hunter. Yeah, uh, but we've got to fill all four roles. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay, so so then that's why Ross was asking about awareness. Um, yeah. Who? Um, I, I I only have like two in awareness. So it's not favored either. Okay. Uh, how's so, uh, Luthwin's awareness? Luthwin, isn't uh, your awareness favored? Yep, two and favored. Okay, would you like to be a lookout? Sure. Okay. All right, so then all four roles are filled. Um, we don't necessarily need two hunters, but it would be between Norin and Duota. Now, Norin has three in travel, which is really good. Um, Duota, you have two in travel that's favored, so it's it's up to you. Do you want to to stick with the guide or go with Hunter? Yep. I you... think I'll fall back and be the second Hunter. Okay. Um, let me do that. And then, Norin, you want to be the guide? Yeah, it looks like that's probably where I'll be. Okay, then let me go ahead and change this. I have, I have traveled quite a bit since I am a, a dwarf scholar. <laughs> His little, little bio mentioning has traveled a bit. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and save this. And it closes. I don't know why it closes the, the uh, thing, but... Uh, uh oh, come on. Come on, don't fail on me. All right, let me open company back up. There, I've got all four of you where I need you. Okay. So, now, the the goal and the idea um, is to kind of, uh, I don't need that open, stop, uh, is to, to kind of get you guys 
um, uh, moving on this. But before we begin, um, let's see, beginning the journey. Does anybody do, I've forgotten, the, the journey sequence of second edition is different than the journey sequence in first. Uh, the map, the journey sequence, setting the journey path. But apparently you don't actually get to roll bonus dice for lore until it's absolutely necessary. Okay, so that's the journey no. rolls. Uh, let's see, did we get everybody? Why is that closed? I opened that. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to take that out of there and put it into a journal entry. Okay, <sighs> because having the character sheet open is stealing a lot of Control A, Control X, and let me just close this, and I'll get a journal entry open. Uh, new journal entry. Um, okay, um, travel rolls and create new journal. And then I can leave this one open if it will do what it's supposed to do. Okay, Control V, here we go, and save. Now, and I don't need to worry about leaving that open all the time. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let's see. Did we get everybody? Uh, there's Duota, Ewold, Luthwin, Noreen, and Radigand. Okay, so everybody's assigned roles. Good. Um, as for lore and stuff like that, Ginger, um, it's something that we're going to take care of uh, as we're kind of going along. Um, it may be something that can, can help you along. Uh, what I would like is Radigand. Uh, we're going to kind of start things off with you. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and make an explore roll to uh, find tracks or to, to find where the tracks go after what Luthwin was informed about. All right. Um, I do have Mirkwood lore if they headed towards Mirkwood. Uh, that's if they're headed towards Mirkwood. Right now, you're still in the East Anduin Vales. Okay. So let's do uh, Explore. It's favored. <clears throat> okay. Let me get back to the to the chat. Wow, this is really running slow. Okay. So that's a success. All right. You're able to lock on to where uh, to where those go. Um, to to kind of end the evening. You know where you're going to be going. Do you as a group want to continue to, to go at night? Or do you want to... We're, we're basically starting the journey, so night and day really doesn't matter. I'm trying to think my way through this. Um, no one's ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm I fine to go. I have my stuff in here. I mean, I'm, I can see at night, more or less. Okay. So, well, yeah, and... I'm used to living, I'm used to living in, 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 the, in the mountains. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so you and Luthwin can actually see well at night. Mm -hmm. um, Radigand is self-trained at being able to sneak around at night, so she kind of knows about things to look for. Um, Yuld and Duota, you're both from Woodman Villages. Um, uh, so, you know, whether it's Woodman of Mountain Hall or Woodman of, of mm -hmm. Rosgabel, that's right. Yeah. So, it's, it's a little further south. Yeah, it, it's actually quite a bit further south. Um, so, Radigand, you come from Rosgabel. Um, and if you've read your story, you know that uh, Radagast the Brown... Uh, kind of uh, put in a good word for you. So, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. Before night falls completely, um, you manage to get um, roughly 7 to 10 miles north uh, before the moon starts to hamper, the, or the lack thereof, of the moonlight starts to, to hamper your ability to continue to follow. The tracks seem to start going uh, uh, along the Anduin River, which is this river right in here, okay? So, and it, it's going up 
you know, towards that direction. Um, but what we need to do is uh, we're going to start with the very next morning uh, for a journey roll. Okay, so let's see, set journey path. Uh, the only thing that you know is that you're trying to follow a series of tracks, so you really don't have a journey path to make this time around. So here's what I'm going to do. In the morning, I'm going to have Radigand roll explore to see if she keeps up with the tracks. So Radigand, it's morning. Go ahead and roll once. All right. Let me find my explore. Mm -hmm. It's favored. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's another success. That's all you need is that basic success. So you're able to follow the the trail for for the rest of the day. Um, I need to make a private roll, but I've got to find the bad guy first. Um, let's see adversaries. No wait, adventure NPCs. There we go. Okay, so 